happy Monday, you guys. So, yes, this finally arrived after almost two weeks. Um, my balance pad. So, and luckily this morning, we have a physical therapy appointment. Right now, I am at the parking lot for the gym, getting ready to go get my exercise in. Okay, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Um, we started our day off at the gym. I went to physical therapy. I stopped in at the office. I'm back home to finish up my work day. So I have my first meal ready to go. I have just a plain regular cup of coffee with almond milk in it. And I have two egg bites, chicken thighs, and broccoli. So I'm calling this meal number one. I got to get back to work, but I'm going to be checking in a little bit later. See you guys then. All right, here is the pork chops. Let's see this. this. And they're all oh, so good and smell divine. And I went ahead and um, made a salad. So I just cut up one and a half pork chops into here. I'm going to get my dressing on here. It's going to be the primal kitchen. And that's going to be my dinner. And that's how I'm going to finish things out. I still have, I want to say, 10 more ounces of water. And I will have 75 ounces of water in. And I'll be good with that. So, yeah. It was a good day. Got up. Worked out. Oh, so, let me just get this. Sorry, you guys. You can't see me. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Oh, goodness. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So, like I said, it was a very good day. Um, my body is getting used to the routine of the whole workout, going to the gym. It's almost, I crave it. So, if you notice, um, last week I said I took Friday off. Um, I think taking one day off, now that I'm in this really good routine of it, it's not going to be a setback because I think the body needs time to rest. I've been going strong every day for a long time. So I think I've gotten myself into it. And like I said, I crave it. I love it. I come to enjoy it. It actually relaxes me. I go, I turn on my headphones and, and I'm able to watch some of you guys get caught up, even though I'm not able to comment right away. That's, that's the only negative part of it. I can't comment and I keep going through the videos and I done forgot who I watched and who I should go back and try to comment on. That's something I'm going to have to figure out. But um, I'm enjoying the workout, so yay for that. Um, I don't have anything else, so I'm going to close out Monday. We'll pick this up tomorrow. See you then. Good morning. Welcome back. It is a Tuesday. So happy Tuesday to you guys. Um... As usual, I did my workout this morning. I'm going to stop saying I work out unless for some reason I don't work out, then I'll let you guys know. But just note that if I don't say it, I worked out. Um, it's not going to be too busy of a day. The sun is out. It's a nice day. Um, I already have my first meal. It's the same stuff as yesterday. I'm a creature of habit. That if you guys have been watching me for any time. You know, I can eat the same thing for eons. So, and I'm happy with it. It's just fuel for the body. So, right here in this bowl, I have egg cups, chicken thigh, and at the bottom, you probably can't see it. Let's see, some broccoli. And I'm not going to Qdoba today. We're going to make our own bowl. So, stay tuned for that. But I'm going to eat, get back to work, and catch you guys in a minute. Alrighty, guys, I am back. And we're going to go over the last meal for today. So I'm having one of these. And this is what it looks like. Um, and then it smells so good. So the only thing I did, I... Put a little bit more cauliflower rice. I also had very little cauliflower rice. Um, and that's it. 
So I'm calling this good for today. Tomorrow, um, my um, balance pad came finally. So we're going to do some balancing exercises and pray I don't fall on my ass tomorrow. So I'm going to eat, drink some more water, and I'm good for the rest of the day. So we'll be checking in again tomorrow. See you then. Good morning. Welcome back. It is a Wednesday, a beautiful day in Seattle. So I hope you guys are having a really good morning. Um, I've already been working and of course, you know, the workout and all that stuff. So yes, I'm feeling kind of energized and I'm going to go on to my first meal. I don't know if you can see it really good. Let me see. So it is, let me see, three egg cups a half of a pork chop, and some cauliflower rice. And I'm calling that meal number one. I'm going to eat that, get back to work. So we're going to do some balancing exercises today. I have a tag from one of my dear followers and friends that I love so much. So I know we're going to do that tag. And we're going to close it out and get this video up. So let me get back to work, eat, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, everyone, this is the balance pad. And my balance is really sucky, so I'm gonna, I should be doing this every single day and I'm gonna start doing it every day. So what I've been tasked with doing is, hopefully you can see this, um, Putting one foot in front of the other like this and balancing. And that is really, really difficult for me to hold that position. So I do it the best I can. And trying to, um, without holding on to anything, balance on one foot, on each foot. So kind of like that and see how long you can hold it. This, I'm at, this one is the weaker one. It's really hard. So try to, it's not as long as I can do it on this one. So I've been practicing those. And um, the other one is just turning to the side and kind of crouching and trying to hold that position and, you know, the best you can. So those are my exercises for the balance pad. Um, there are some, these, I can do them on the floor, but it's better to do it on the balance pad. So I'm gonna be working on those. And I have some other exercises I need to be um, working on with my bands um, to help with my ankles. So the problem is here in my ankles right down here. This little part right here is where the impingement is on both sides. So um, I'm working to strengthen that area and hopefully I can. Um, but I was told this could be kind of like an ongoing issue for me. So I just wanted to show you guys the balance pad and, you know, some of the things that I am working on. Okay, everyone, I am here in the office. So I was tagged by um, the lovely um, Keto Marnie, Marnie at the Keto Crocheter. And this tag is the small YouTubers tag. And I thought the questions were really interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and do this tag. So question number one, and excuse me while I look at the questions, is what made you start YouTube? For me, I was watching YouTube off and on, and I was like, hmm, this may be a good way to document my journey um, with weight loss. Um, and to be able to look at some old videos to see what I was doing, what worked, what didn't work. Um, 
what was going on in my life is kind of like a to document things for myself. And it says, what is the video you are number two? What's the video you're most um, proud of? Hmm. I think it was my video where I did a giveaway. And it was my very, very first giveaway. Um, a long time ago. I think it was like a Kamas... I don't know if it was a Christmas giveaway. I think it was a, might have been a Christmas giveaway. So that one, that was fun. A really fun video. Number three, do you struggle with social media? I sure as heck do. Um, I struggle on YouTube just keeping up with the amount of channels that I follow. Um... I didn't realize it till I started scrolling through my subscriptions. It was just, it, I mean, I was just scrolling forever. It looked like, and it, I, I don't know if I, I don't think I watch every single one of those, but there were somewhere around 300 and something. And, but I have a, at least a good 60 to 70 people that I religiously, you know, follow. And it's really hard with, you know, keeping up with those, those videos. Um, some post every day. Some post maybe once or twice a week. Um, some have five to ten minute long videos. Some have 30, 40 minute videos. So it's been a struggle for me to really keep up on those. I also have Twitter. I have Facebook, which I don't really use too much. Um, I have Instagram. I was kind of active on Instagram and that's fallen by the wayside. I just don't have the time to devote to all the social media that I would like to. And just, you know, a big thumbs up to you guys that can keep up with all of it. And especially if it's your job. Oh my God. It, it, it's a heck of a job. Um, number four. What content creator inspires you the most? That's a hard one because a lot of you guys inspire me in your own way. Um, and I hate to just try to pick one because there's just not really one. So I'm just, I will say, um, Fat to Keto Jelly. She's really good. I love her content. I love how much she put herself out there and talk about her struggles. She's get that when she gained weight, when she um are have, having problems and I can so relate to that because I struggled so hard with my weight loss and finding the right keto with everything. Um also Keto Diamond. She puts herself out there a lot and just is really candid. Um, Mitch and Carolyn, I hope I'm saying their names right, or is it Carolyn and Mitch? Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, but I'll have it in my description box, the people I talked about, because they always start off with a quote, and I, my God, I kid you not, those quotes are is exactly what I need, and I love it so much there. It's just beings with positivity, their channel. It's just positivity, sunshine, a ray of sunshine. It's the only way I can describe it. Um, let's see, number five. What frustrates you about other content creators? Nothing. Um, either that channel is for you or it's not for you, and if it's not, you just don't have to watch. So nothing frustrates me. Um, what frustrates me about my channel? I th think that what frustrates me the most is that I feel like I could be doing a whole lot more with my channel, but I just don't have the time between working, my home life, the things I volunteer for um it's hard you know 
um, to to really put the amount of energy that I want into the channel. It's not saying that I don't put energy into it because I do, but I would love to do a whole lot more with it. Okay, number seven, and the last one is what motivates you to make content? Um, I think that's going to tie back to the num to my um, answer for number one. Um, it's kind of like this video diary for me, just showing my progress as far as my keto journey, my health journey, what's going on with me. Um, so that is what motivates me to make content is just to have a video diary. So that is the end of the tag. And I'm going to leave this as an open tag. Whoever wants to do it, please do. And when you do, just tag me in it. And I would love to um, go back and watch your answers. So, um, yeah, next up. We're going to go to our final meal. All right, everyone, I'm going to wrap up this video and I'm going to show you my final meal because I don't want it to be too long. It's a salad and I just cut up two pieces of pork chop. My primal kitchen, mate, um, not meal, salad dressing, sorry. And I'm calling it good. I've already had all my water. Can you guys believe it? Normally I end by saying, I'm going to have so many ounces of water. I did it. 75 ounces of water. So I'm good with the water. We're done. I'm wrapping this up. I'm going to get the video up. Thank you guys so much. I so appreciate each and every one of you. And I will be back with another video in a few days. See you then. Oh,